Hey everyone, it's One Stop Guy. How's everyone all doing today? Hoping everybody is having a great day today. All right, guys, so today we're going to go ahead and do a real live, um, uh, basically, video here on how to save your iPhone photos and videos on this Sandisk Flash Drive Go. All right. So in our last video, I did unboxing of this um, flash drive here. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, I will leave that um, the link in the description box or in the comment section, okay? So you guys can uh, go back and watch that video. But today we will do a hands-on. This is actually going to be my first time going to try this as well, okay? So like I was uh, mentioning in that video... Um, I'm running out of space on my iPhone, okay? Every time when I go do videos and photos, I ran, I run out and I cannot do any more. So, you know, it's very annoying and it, it gets me, I have to like basically delete some of my videos, which I need, right? And so um, I was doing some research and I found this right here. And it, what it does is it should transfer your videos and photos into this uh, flash drive here so you can free up your space on your iPhone. Okay, so we're gonna do that uh, Today and like I said, it's my first time as well. So let's go ahead and play with it and Before you can actually use uh, the drive. You got to download this app right here. It's called the I Expand drive right here. You guys can see it right there Okay, so I already downloaded it already. So let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so like I said, we're gonna do it hands-on live first time all right go ahead and tap on the app okay so once you tap on the app it's gonna tell you hello plug in your x-band drive to get started okay so it has a picture moving up and down right there to let you know how to put it in or showing you how to put it in so we're gonna go ahead and just plug it right in just like what it says all right All right, so we got it plugged in. Let's see what's next. And uh, basically it's gonna tell you, I don't know if you guys can read that, but it says, this icon right here says, save space on your iPhone, all photos and videos taken. Use this camera, using this camera are saved directly to your iXPand drive in the camera folder, okay? All right. And I just go ahead and tap on that. And then it pops up all this stuff right here. And then right here it says copy file, view file, backup and restore, do more store. I don't know what's um what we gotta do here, but we're gonna play around with it live here, okay? So like I said, it's my first time as well, so you guys can learn with me. So right here, my iPhone got seven gigabytes free. So it's telling me that's how much I still got on my phone. But here on the x -Band space, we still got uh, a lot. Okay, so it's uh, 256 gigabytes. So we still got a lot. And you can see here the iPhone space is 120 gigabyte use of 128 gigabytes. So I'm running out. All right. So what's next? Let's see, turn on auto backup. You can automatically backup your photos every time you plug in your iXPand drive. Uh, I think I'm not gonna turn that on because I don't know, you know, I don't want them to keep on backing up stuff I don't wanna be back up, you know? So I'm probably not gonna do that. And then backup contents. Would you like to, would you like iXPand drive to back up your contacts? No, I'm not gonna do that. And your last backup was on, never, backup now. I'm probably going to skip that for now. We're just going to go straight through here, connect to Google Photos, sign up. Um, since, you're, since you first started using iPad, you transferred zero photos. So we haven't transferred anything yet. And then you can share files from other apps to the iExpand. Okay, just some information there, okay? So we're going to... Let's move right along here. So right here, it says copy files, view files, like we read earlier, backup and restore, do more, store. 
So let's go ahead and try copy files. That's what I'm assuming because we're going to want to copy it to this this uh, drive or this flash flash go here. Let's tap on that. Okay, and then it says copy folders from iPhone, copy files from iExpand drive. I think we're going to do this one, copy photos from iPhone. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And then once you tap on that, they're going to have, it opens up your photo gallery. Okay. So let's go ahead and just select whatever. I'm just going to select two just to give you guys an idea. And then on the bottom, it says copy to iExpand drive. So I think that is what we need. Go ahead and tap on that. Um, and it says music, photos, videos, whatever. I think we're gonna create a new folder, okay? Because I don't want it to mix up. So let's go ahead and create a new folder and just name it uh, um, YouTube. So just name it YouTube, make it easy. All right, so now it's it's uh, it's showing us the file here. Okay, sorry about the glare because I have my computer on. Um, but right here it says copy here. So I'm assuming all we gotta do is just tap copy. So let's go ahead and do that. And then it looks like it's, it, it's copy. So it says right there, I expand drive, just copy two items. Delete these items from your phone to free up 16.5 megabytes of space. Um, you So basically you can actually delete those two um, pictures on your iPhone to free up some space, but I'm not gonna delete it because I need those, okay? I just wanted to do a test uh, copy here. So uh, do not delete. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put do not delete. All right, so now where do we find those photos uh, Photos that we just copy? I'm assuming you go back to the arrow here and then I'm assuming it's right here, right? View files, let's try that. And then right here, YouTube, seven items, even though we only copied two. See, what did it also copy? Okay, so I guess uh, I am not sure if I copy the videos as well or not, but I guess the videos came through with it. And these were the photos that we um, copy here. So that's pretty cool. So I guess that's just how you save it. So let's, um, what is this? Select, select items. Oh, these ones are if you want to delete it. We don't want to delete that. It has more option here, down here. Okay, so you can actually uh, send it to uh, other people when you do that, you know. Okay, so you also have secure, more option, and delete. So you can do that if you guys like. So let's go back out. And let's go back out again and again. And we're gonna do one more. Let's try one more copy files again. And then this time we're gonna copy copy photos from iPhone. Okay, this is what we're like I said, just like the other time that we just like earlier that we just did. This is the main thing right here. So let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and just get another picture here. This one and this one. And then copy to iDrive. Copy here. So make sure you put YouTube because that's the photo we made. And then copy here. And now it's copying. You can see it moving. All right. There you go, guys. So that is about it. And that pops up again here. If you want to. Uh, delete it you can or if you do not want to delete it just put do not which i'm going to put do not okay because i still need those photos or videos and then let's go back out one more time and check to see where it's at view files right here go to youtube 
and these two files are right here guys all right so that's actually pretty cool and straightforward on how to use this little machine down here okay this guy down here called the i expand flash drive go all right so like i said earlier its purpose is to free up some space on your iphone if your iphone is running out of space you can put it on this go thingy here so that way you know you have, you're gonna have more more um more space for your phone itself so you can start um, doing more videos and photos all right guys so just like i said earlier this is actually my first time as well to experiment uh this flash drive go and it was actually pretty simple okay you guys just got to download the app first plug it in and then basically it's just going to tell you what to do and um just like it says uh one two three very easy and it actually was pretty easy all right guys if you guys have any questions or comment leave them down below if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to hit that subscribe button okay and tap on the notification bell so whenever i upload any new videos you'll be the first to be notified